Well, hello and welcome to Jonathan from the Heart. I'm Jonathan Assay of jonathanassay.com and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our talk of topic, ask them these questions before you sleep together. This is what you should be asking before you have sex. <laughs> Uh, really quickly, if you're new to my YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you can be notified of new content. If this resonates with you, hit the like button. And lastly, these are my weekend videos that I shoot out on my balcony, very similar to the videos I shoot in my private group called Midlife Love Mastery. Check out the link in the description to join my VIP group where you can ask me questions directly and I shoot videos personally for you in the group. And we have a Facebook group and a once a month webinar. All right, what to talk about before sex? I think this is a great conversation because oftentimes, now I know many of you are um, already in relationships, so you've already had sex with guys, but this is for those of you that are maybe just beginning dating process or you're thinking about dating or whatever. I think this is a good conversation even if you, my hair seems a little messed up today. Uh, seems like a good conversation regardless because here's the challenge with a lot of women that I see today in the dating realm because it used to be that if you wanted to get laid, you had to get married. <laughs> well, we no longer in a, live in a world where you have to make the ultimate commitment to be in a relationship. In fact, you have to make very little commitment to be in a relationship other than maybe calling each other boyfriend and girlfriend or something like that. And even just those words are actually very weak. So what level of commitment can someone make to actually make sense to invest your body in another human being as well as your heart, your mind, and your soul? And I think it's important to ask some really good questions ahead of time. So what I'm gonna give you an example of what I do in my dating practice and see if it resonates with you and we're gonna go much deeper. So just give me a minute beyond this. So one of the things I do very early on in the dating process of maybe it's the first or second date, I bring up the following. I say, hey, I just want you to know something about me. When I become intimate with a person, both physical and emotional, I am monogamous and I'm exclusive. Let, let me repeat that. I'm monogamous and when I'm exclusive. And what I mean to say is I do not have sex with multiple people. And if we, jo if we begin a sexual aspect of our relationship, I'm exclusive, meaning I won't talk to and try to meet new people. And then I follow up with, how do you operate? And I say the word operate because this is, this is someone's modus of operandi, so to speak. In other words, are you just cavalierly dating and having sex with people and no real commitment to another human being? Or are you intentional? So my first thing is I say, I share, this is how my standard, and I ask, how do you operate? Okay? Um, by the way, my coffee mug says, do all things with love, do all things with love. My t-shirt says, humankind be both. And that's kind of what I'm leaning into today. But I want to go deeper. I want to go much deeper before you actually begin an, a physical, intimate relationship with a guy. Because some men can say, yes, we'll do those things and not be sincere. And, and many men will be. I, I, men don't intentionally deceive women. Oftentimes there's conflicting things going on within a guy that causes someone to be deceptive. But for the most part, most men are good guys, they're just bad daters. And I'm here to have you lean into a deeper way of approaching the relationship process. And this is why I highly recommend purchasing the book, Eight Dates, I want you to purchase two copies. Uh, the book is Eight Dates by Dr. John and Julie Gottman. Check out the link in the description for Jonathan Recommends Books. All my books that I recommend are there. Why you want to get this book is it lays out eight fundamentals. Here. The chapters include, here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read this for you so you can get a sense. Chapters, uh, date one, trust and commitment. Date two, addressing conflicts. Date three, sex and intimacy. Date four, the cost of love, work and money. Date five, room to grow. Date six, play with me, fun and adventure. Date seven, growth and spirituality. And date eight, your life of love and dreams. And why this is so important before you allow the penis into the vagina or shortly thereafter is you have to decide, is this person, at least this is my invitation for you, is this person serious about wanting a commitment or are they just 
haphazardly going about life, hoping that something will magically change for them because they're in a space of casual and they're hoping, they're hoping for some magic fairy dust to change them to want to be committed. I'm here to encourage you to choose people who are willing to make the effort. And someone who's willing to read this book with you as you're exploring a relationship demonstrates that they're much more serious about the process than the cavalier person. And here's the challenge. Probably 70% of men out there are cavalierly dating. In other words, they're haphazardly dating. They're casually dating. And what I mean by cat dating is that they're out seeking companionship, connection, and sex without any real forethought or intentionality of wanting to be in a serious, committed relationship. I'm going to bet that roughly 70, 75, 80, maybe even 90% of men operate that way. Now, a lot of those men do end up in serious relationships, but without any real intentionality, it makes it difficult for them to decide who to choose a partner. This is why when you create intentionality, when you create some, I'm gonna use the word, well, when you create standards, when you create your standard, you have a better chance of assessing if this person is a good candidate for you to invest your heart in. Because ultimately, ladies, the minute you invest your body, you're investing your heart. And once you've invested your heart with the wrong person, and this happens again and again and again, it can wear on us emotionally. This is why I wrote my book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? It's a journey of personal development, self-help, and spiritual work to shore up our own, because here's the reality. When we've had one experience after another after another, it, 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 dating triggers the number one emotional health issue facing almost everyone, and that is I'm not good enough, I'm not lovable, and I'm not likable. And this is why I want to encourage you all to start shifting your inner narrative to loving on yourself and then being compassionate for everyone else. Loving on ourselves and being compassionate for everyone else because when we operate from that premise, we have a greater chance of not feeling such, so much angst when we've made a choice that wasn't really aligned to who we are and what we want. And this is why I recommend reading this book. And let me just say one thing. I'm getting so many emails from those of you, for those of you that are watching my videos, I'm telling you, if you're brand new to watching this video, I'm getting emails or messages from women who have done what I've just said. They've adopted introducing this book. In fact, I just got a message the other, yes, this morning from a woman thanking me because of the recommendation of the books that I've suggested that she's introduced it to the guy she's with and their relationship is actually progressing at a much more deeply rooted space of trust because it's not this bullshit haphazard men are chivalrous and they'll just claim you and all you have to do is just sit back in your feminine and men will do all the work. If that was such a great narrative that's so traditional, why is the dating process a cluster F? It is because of lack of intentionality. And before you sleep with a guy, I want to invite you to be more intentional which is going to create a greater chance for success. Is this sinking in? Is this resonating? Post a comment below. I'd like you to hear your thoughts on this. All right, I'm going to wrap up today's video as I always do. First off, giving myself a big, gigantic Jonathan Bear hug of self-love. I'm going to reach into the camera and give you a hug of love if that's okay. I'm going to ask you to turn to someone or a pet or a teddy bear or a pillow and give it or them a hug of love because hugs are a great source of love and we can all use more love in our lives. Thanks so much. Bye-bye now.